We we are in an information war, and we are losing that war. This is Robert Foster for Rap News once again, and what an eventful past few months it's been. History has certainly been happening, pyramids trembling and regimes unraveling, dictatorships being shaken in Tunisia, Egypt, Algeria, Bahrain, and now in Libya. And in media, an army of indie pioneers has emerged to pwn injustice through the cybersphere, facing riot gear with status updates and Twitter feeds, bringing peeps to the streets in corrupt states. And while the West stands by and applauds the protest. Posing as the model of freedom for the rest The world asks, where will the revolution begin next? Wait, it's our reporter John Pilger live from the Middle West That's correct Robert, I'm here in Wisconsin Where teachers and workers have started revolting In the depths of this dark, corporatist kingdom People have finally dared to utter the word freedom I'm deep in, embedded in the midst of them Witnessing the rise of the American citizen Is it then the end of the terrible plight there? We might be seeing an end of the American Nightmare. The people control several states and territories and are set to storm the mainstream news agencies. They've already deposed Governor Scott Walker, who abolished collective rights of the public worker. There's rage here at the genocide of the middle classes, rising poverty, food costs, and medical prices. This is the war you don't see on television. The people have had it with this fascist prison and the two party dictatorship that's arisen under the iron fist of the republic rat system. It just goes to show that you never know. Even the most oppressive regimes can be dealt a blow. Thanks for this news, John. So how will the world receive it? Let's cross live to Egypt first and speak with the fearless Asma Mafus, whose vlogs filled to rear square with activist youth. Hello to you on the channel Rap News. Asma Mafus, do you mind if we ask for your views? Sure, the American people have suffered abuse and must choose if be slaves of tyrannical crooks or join us in the race into the modern era by taking up arms with Facebook and Twitter. We join in prayer for Americans tonight as they struggle for their basic human rights. So how can the world help soothe their plight? Uh, hang on, Robert, someone's coming through on Skype. Hello? Hello, Asma. This is Ranin Salam in Baghdad. We just got news of revolting Americans. And? As you know, Iraq was invaded by the U.S. to depose our brutal dictator. So please, to let the U.N. hear our statement, the Iraq people stand ready to return the favor. We'll send in our troops to save them from hell. Trump shock and our bombs and uranium shells And what about the threat of fundamentalist Christians? We'll liberate them and give them a secular system Yes, we'll save them, even the heathens This is Operation Enduring American Freedom So, BRB, Robert, I have another friend of mine Ah, our sister, Nisreen, logging in from Palestine Salam, all of us in the occupied territory Stand in solidarity with the oppressed of North America Yes, but, Wait, wait, I'm surprised I guess I never realized that people in Palestine would have sympathized with with one of Israel's most ardent allies. No, no, I should must clarify. We pledge support for the indigenous nations who, like us, have lost their lands to colonization, like the Lakota, uphold the Treaty of Fort Laramie, and the true sovereign owners of occupied Hawaii. I see, sir. Robert Wade, lead singer of U2, has just uploaded a charity song to U2. Look! Thanks, Asma, but now for our next guest from within the regime, TV host Glenn Beck. So, Glenn Beck, what's your view of these events? Hello, America. It's me, Glenn Beck. I've been educating the viewers on my redneck show to pay attention to the coming insurrection. This is not a popular uprising. It's fomented by the unions. It's a communist virus. Well, okay, so who's behind this? Well, listen in. Protesters, Muslims, and Francis Fox Pippen in cahoots with students high on drugs she's given them brainwashed by Lenin and Bill Ayers Weatherman using labor rights to spread trouble. They need to be clubbed over the hood with shovels! But is it not that the American people are protesting because of genuine grievances? America does have the world's highest incarcerated population. Two million behind bars. And although people were robbed blind by Wall Street, 
Only Bernie Madoff went to jail for it. Oh, don't listen to him, America. The perfect storm is within. Students, Islamists, Google, all of them. They've thrown in their lot against liberty, against Israel, God, capitalism, and stability. Look, it's obvious. This is George Soros, who funded the Egypt uprising and all the followers. Through his Open Society Institute, backed by, oh, could it be the Muslim Brotherhood? Who walk in step with who? Iran! And want the doomsday caliphate of the 12th Imam! Or, well, that's great! Communist Islam! Yes, kids, that's the real enemy of this land. Okay, well, Glenn, stay near and we'll get your reaction to other opinions around the world as they happen. First, we have to take the next caller, Carlos Barranquilla, on the United Statesian border. Carlos, you're with a charity. Tell us, what do you do? Bueno, this NGO is called Gringos Are Humans Too. The U.S. can't give its citizens even basic services, so for the last 30 years we've been sending aid workers in as maids and servants, and it's urgent that the aid keeps flowing while the people take on this regime. What's this? What the heck did that Taco Pender say? Mexican aid workers? No way in hell, Jose! The Tea Party will shoot these horrible of immigrants on site will defend our borders for militias and fight. Listen, Colero, the walls and the fences and things, they ain't to keep us out there to keep Americans in. Okay, the guest who will ask next is Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. What's your reaction as the revolution enlarges? Gracias. In primer lugar, buenos tardes. The causes of this uprising are tigers, capitalist gangsters, oligarchs, who keep 14% of the peasantry crying, living life below the poverty line. So Venezuela is sending cheap oil to heat their homes in the winter and ease the toil. En nombre de Bolivar, accepten nuestra caridad, es una expresión de la solidaridad. I speak on behalf of our merciful creator. Whoever accepts communist oil is a traitor. Wait, more breaking news coming in from John Pilger. Robert, I'm outside the Fox building. Rebels have reached the perimeter. They're inside. Whoever they find is unlikely to survive. So they've arrived? I'll hold off the baying hordes. Now that stench. Jesus, I hate the poor. The rebels have reached the central bunker, calling for the head of Glenn Beck the drunkard. Well, I call on Joseph Smith, Senator McCarthy, and the pure whiteness of the confounding fathers. They'll never take me alive. I might as well give in to the spirit of 912. This is my country. I just really love it. But I fear for it. They thought I was insane and lost. Who said I've lost the plot? Ah, they gotta make the pain stop for America and Fox with a good old American made clock. <laughs> good night, America. Well, dear viewers, I'm sure you all agree, it's wonderful to witness these jolly scenes. We've seen our brothers and sisters make history in North Africa and across the Middle East. But sympathy to our poor cousins in the Far West, on whose shoulders has fallen this large test, this quest, this incredible fight. In some sense, we are all Americans tonight. As worldwide, the pyramids of power are jogged. Let us remember the bigger journey we're on. Long ago, we embarked on this great adventure, yet humanity Humanity still remains an ideal we aim for. What may be said of so-called revolutions? Are they not baby steps in our ongoing evolution? The road is long, and despite our talk of civilization, we're still far from that destination.